Hello everybody, it's me, the Prince of FNAF, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, and hit that like button if you like what you see here. And with that being said, today we're having a look at the new Minecraft comic maker, Blaze, with Nether Quartz Ore figure. This is a brand new figure that just came out, and I know my opinion on the new Minecraft comic maker figures have has been somewhat negative, but when I knew that they were coming out with a Blaze, I had to pick it up. And take a look at it so this will be the moment of truth whether or not I actually like these figures in person or if I was right about the whole thing they're just trash figures so with that being said let's jump in to this Minecraft comic maker blaze figure So yes indeed, this will be the final moment of truth. As you can see on the table here, we are taking a look at another Minecraft figure, and it's from the new Minecraft comic books line. And it's me! It's me, the Blaze. You can see Blaze right there, and he does have two faces, one angry face and one normal face. He does come with a fireball and a couple of extra arms, and he does come with some nether quartz ore and the included comic book. Uh, as for the card that the figure is sitting on, it looks pretty nice. Back of the box just showcases the app, which allows you to take some characters and make a stop motion style comic book. The other characters that we have are listed right here, which is a shitty version of the Iron Golem, a shitty version of Steve, shitty version of Alex, shitty version of the Creeper, which I don't understand. The Creeper is like Minecraft's like mascot outside of Steve. They all look very shitty, but I had to take a look at this one, and so we will sell, we shall see whether these are as shitty as I believe them to be or not. Um, but yeah, it's Blaze, so I had to definitely take a look at it. So with that being said, that wraps up the box. Let's actually jump into the figure itself. So when you get your uh, when you get your Blaze, this is cool how it rotates like this. It all comes in pieces like this, so I'm assuming you just gotta plug these arms into the figure and not rip out the other arms as well. Um, I think this goes up like that. Yeah, it looks like it does. So that just carefully pegs in there. You can see the slot right there and these arms that come separated. Where is that other arm? It's all the way over here. You can see that it um, pegs in like that as well. This one goes up like that, so very easily pegs into the uh, figure's arm and um, it does come with two swappable faces this angry kind of you know pissed off face and of course this more um, uh, chill face um, it does come with this uh, block of uh, nether quartz which you just put together like this and I think the figure actually stands on top of it and I was right so there we go, figure just stands on, okay, whoa, why does it stand like that, okay, here we go, just stands on it like that, which looks pretty cool, um, it does come with this included comic book, you can see it stands like that, it does come with this included comic book as well, um, you can see the blaze there, and you can see Steve fighting off a uh, blaze in the background, and it basically just... Okay, I'm going to read this, and then I'll tell you the story. So uh, I'll be back once I uh, read this uh, really cool comic book story. So as you can see, I have the figure set up with all of its accessories, and I just finished reading the book. It has about seven illustrations, as you can see here. And the general synopsis for this comic book, as it is quite short, is the Blaze is just minding its own business. Steve comes up and tries to attack it, and of course starts insulting it and the blaze gets of course angry with him and starts attacking him as well this i don't know this seems like it's more orientated as kids so i don't know why you would include a story with potential bullying and abuse but whatever as you can see it does come included with a fireball very accurate to what we see in the game and it just kind of pegs into the figure's mouth only works with the angry sculpt on um, its body does rotate like it does in the uh, in the game and of course it does have 
various different head sculpts. So let's take the angry face off. You can see there's a hole in there in which the face just sort of pegs into. Um, once I can get it in there. It should snap right into place and you can see he's got a more chill head sculpt there. It doesn't come include with a, uh, with a set of nether quartz block, which of course the figure can be displayed on. Which is a nice way to display it, if you wish to do it that way. But with that being said, let's do some size comparisons and then end off the video. So here is our new comic book maker Blaze next to an old creeper figure. And as you can see, the Minecraft action figure scene has kind of devolved. As this looks way more cartoony and this one looks a little bit more accurate to what we see in game. But uh, moving on. Then we have our new Blaze compared to an old Iron Golem figure. Here it is compared to an Ender Dragon figure. Here it is compared to the Minecraft Adventure figures, Dolphin and Sea Turtle diorama. And finally, here it is compared to the Panda. So there you have it. That's my look at the brand new Minecraft comic maker Blaze figure. I think it's definitely a great idea for someone looking to get a career in stop motion or if you're just looking to have some fun with a nap for a couple hours. But hey, definitely a great toy. It's aimed at children. I wouldn't recommend this to adult collectors. But hey, what are these videos for? Well, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do take care and have a great night.